am serving some sexy senora vibes with this makeup look. I'm obsessed and I hope you guys are too. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this look using the brand new Becky G ColourPop collection. This was just sent to me last night and today's the launch party so I figured why not film a tutorial with it? Why not get ready for the party together? And also with the holidays around, I felt this was such a perfect look to get into the spirit. This is definitely a look you can wear on Christmas, Christmas Eve, holiday party, whatever it is. I found the eye to be just so perfect. We actually ended up playing with most of the brown shades in here. I think everything in the collection is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely right up my alley of the shades that I like to wear. Something I love so much about it is that a lot of the names, you'll notice there's Mija, Chola, Flor, Besame. And then as far as the shadows, they're all in Spanish as well, which I thought was really cute. It's really nice to see her touching into her roots as she does already. I am a huge fan of Becky G. I absolutely love her music and her last few songs she's come out with, guys. I'm gonna list some of my, my favorites right here are complete bangers. So good. She's just been fucking killing it lately and when I found out about this collection, I knew it was gonna be a good one. I knew that it was gonna be so gorgeous and definitely something that a lot of you guys are going to love. So this is the look I did and I really hope you guys are excited about it. So if you guys wanna see how this whole look goes down, continue watching. All right, I am so excited to get into today's look, guys. But before we do, I wanna show you guys something super cute that the PR box came with. It's a shot glass and a bottle of Patron. This is gonna really help get the party started. I really wanted to take it right now, but I still have to finish the rest of my makeup. So I'm gonna wait because I do not wanna be leaving with the wonky lash, the messed up contour. I need to be looking good by the time I leave, but best believe me when I say by the end of this video, I will be downing this. So I'm gonna be going in first with my P. Louise eyeshadow base and applying this all over my eyelid. Just kind of tapping this all over. I'm really excited to see how this whole makeup is gonna come out because I'm also gonna be using her highlights, which is pretty exciting as well. I'm a big fan of the ColourPop loose highlights. I think that they are just so gorgeous. I actually call them toppers because I like adding a highlight first and then layering it on top with the highlight. So I'm really excited to do that today. So now that we have the base on, we're gonna be going in first with really pretty beige brown. And I'm actually gonna be applying this on with the Morphe M501 brush. It's like a large blending brush. And we're gonna be starting that right on the outer V of the eye and then all over. It's actually gonna be one of the main colors you're gonna see on my eye. It's a really nice transition shade, but it's also a really good lid shade if you're looking for a soft, smoky eye. And then a ring. Now I'm gonna take in a smaller blending brush and now go a little bit deeper in the crease. We're gonna really deepen this up and kind of follow your eye shape. And I like to go pretty high right here. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for today. I'm going for like that really high blown out look. All right, so now we're gonna be going in with the shade Lola. This is like a really nice matte orange shade and I'm gonna be tapping this over the outer corner of my eye, like kind of on my brow bone. It's gonna make this area really stand out, warm it up, give it like a nice kind of warm finish. Let's do a little something something to the eye. I just always like adding a little bit of extra color right in here. Now we're gonna be going in with the shade Malbec and this is gonna be going right in the transition. I thought this was nice because it has a little bit of like that burgundy reddish shade to it. It would just look so nice to kind of tap it in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna start off by tapping it first on the crease. And I'm really trying to stay only in this area. Like I'm not trying to go higher than that. We're gonna tap this right onto the lid. I forgot to do that. So I'm gonna make sure that we add this before that next shade goes on. That's so pretty. Like just how a brown chick looks so gorgeous on the eyelid. It's like my perfume. I think my perfume definitely got in there. Not good. So next I'm gonna go in with the shade Cafecito, which is a dark brown. Again, has a nice, little bit of red in there, which I really like. I feel like when it comes to browns, they have that little bit of red, they are really gonna stand out versus if they look more on the ashy side, they're gonna look ashy. As you guys can see, I'm holding the brush really, really close, really tight. I'm really trying to have control of where that shadow is going. And then I'm now just gonna blend out with already on the eyelid. Yes, come through, cafecito eyes, I love it. I'm gonna grab this brush really quickly and add a little bit more of Lola and work this color out just a wee bit more. I try to always extend my eyes out. I never like them just stopped right at the end. I like to always pull out. Just kidding. 
Anyways, all right, so now I'm gonna be going in with my OG MAC Black Track Liner. Um, I recently picked this up. I used it in last night's video. I've been using it lately, but my God, I've missed this eyeliner so much. I used to be a person that wore eyeliner every single day, wing liner every single day. And for the longest time, I used MAC Black Track. After that, I started to kind of play with other brands and other stuff. And, you know, I kind of always go back to this. Some brands I find obviously are darker, the black, but they don't perform as smooth when this one gives you enough color and performs really nicely, so I like it for that reason. And I also picked up a fresh 210 brush, which is also another like must-have favorites of mine if you guys are looking for a good eyeliner brush. This one is by far probably the best on the market. I've tried so many, and what happens is a lot of them are very flimsy, so when you wanna go and flick it, it just kind of is like, I don't know, it doesn't do anything, you know? So this one I love that you really get the perfect line with this. Um, but it's been great having black track in my life again. So you guys are gonna definitely see a lot of wings coming out soon. I did pick up two extra eyeliners. And I also like that the MAC ones don't dry out. Like, they just don't dry out. Mine always last till like the very end. See, it just gives me like a precise, a precise wing. I haven't even winged it yet and it already looks so good. All right, and then I'm now gonna go ahead and right at like, the very corner of my eye, I'm just going to start Flicking it up about there, and then now just connect the wing together. So that's another reason too why I say to extend your shadow down a little bit so that when you do your wing and you clean it up, it will all just kind of form together. Taking in next, the Maybelline Snapscara Mascara for my eyes. And this is one I used in my recent video as well. I mentioned it's a wax-free mascara, which is pretty awesome. So we're just going to coat my lashes with this one. Going in next with a fresh pair of my Lily Lashes in the style Miami. I feel like I've never given you guys like a close up on how gorgeous these lashes are. Mira. Wow, few few. When I snap, they're gonna be on. Voila. You can see they look very nice and wispy. Kind of just finishes off the eye look. Looks pretty pretty to me. So now we have the wing on. I'm just gonna grab more of that shade Cafecito. And take this and blend it a little bit over. I feel like once the wing and lashes are on, you can kind of see if you need any more. All right, next I'm gonna use the shade Estrella. And I'm gonna be adding that right in there. Just give it that pop. And I'm going in with the pencil brush, just kind of tapping it right in the middle first and then kind of just blending it out very lightly. Went ahead and backed up the camera because we're about to get started on my face makeup. So we're gonna go in now with the Tatcha primer. This is the silk canvas. And I'm gonna be adding this just kind of all over my face. Let me see what time is it. Oh, lovely. I have like an hour left. So I gotta get out of here. So it's perfect timing. I still don't even know what I'm wearing. Never know what I'm wearing until like the very, very end. I feel like for me, most people plan out their outfits first. I plan my face out first, face and hair and then whatever is going to work, works. For my foundation, I'm gonna be mixing two shades from Too Faced Born This Way. This one is in the Golden Beige, and this one is in Praline. I decided to go kind of with both of them because Golden Beige is perfect, but then this shade's just a little deeper, so it's gonna give me just a little extra color. And I'm just tapping this all over the skin, and then down into the neck area. I think it's time for a shot. Right now, we need something because I either need coffee or a shot. I just feel like if I have coffee and then a shot and then I go out, that's just asking for chorro. And that's not what I'm about right now. Oh, perfect. It's actually one shot. <laughs> I haven't done Patron in a hot minute. My skin just crawled right now too. So what I like to do when I take a shot, normally I actually don't even like drinking it with lime, but it's all right. So this is my trick when it comes to tequila shots, guys. And depends on which tequila you're drinking, but if you're doing one that requires salt to be chased away, which is usually gonna be blanco, I mean, I like to add the lime right here. So a pretty like wide amount. Don't judge me with my margarita salt. I just couldn't deal with like the baby salt. We need something thick for this one. From there, I like to go straight into the salt like that. This is so much easier than like licking it and throwing it back. This allows you to lick and roll back. You know, you gotta like think ahead of the game. We're gonna lick and roll. Oh, okay. I'm only about that much left. We'll take that toward the end. All right, we're gonna go and jump straight into concealer right now. I'm gonna go in with the Jouer Essential Coverage Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee. Pretty good amount right there from the chin area. I really love this concealer. If you guys haven't tried it out, I think it's really nice, especially if you like 
coverage and you like and you need a little bit of hydration it reminds me a lot of shade tape but it's a lot more hydrating which is really nice so to pounce my beauty blender on top of it and then just blend over oh it's literally so nice and just press so you don't get it on there what's up guys well, when the shot hits, you start talking more. Um, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving if you guys did celebrate Thanksgiving. I had a really good time with my family. We just honestly chilled. Um, something you guys don't know, but I actually had a really bad accident that happened to me like maybe a week and a half, maybe about a week ago now. But I actually fell down my stairs and I injured my leg really bad once again. Seba says I'm salada, which means like you were just cursed, you're like bad news bear, you're just bad luck. And that's what Sebastian always says about me. And I swear everybody always says that. They're like, dude, everything always happens to you. Like you're clumsy. And I am, but this time it was really bad. Injuring it so bad to where it was so swollen. I had, I had a photo shoot that day and I could not finish the photo shoot because my foot was so injured. Long story short guys, very long story short because it's like just like boring as hell if I just like tell you guys like how my foot, but it was like swollen huge. I didn't walk on it for days. So I was in Temecula over the weekend. My leg was actually starting to feel better again. And we went out that day to the wineries, ended up going afterwards to Yard House to go have dinner. Again, everything is fine. But during dinner, I was complaining about my foot. I was like, damn, my foot's starting to hurt again. And I was like, get it out of your mind. It's, it's all in your head, girl. Like just relax your foot. It, it wasn't working. I sat a certain way that re-injured it again. And you guys, I had to go to urgent care. <laughs> I was hopping out of Yard House, get to my car, and I start crying because, first of all, I'm really buzzed off wine and like whatever I just had at Yard House. And I had to go to urgent care because it was so bad that I literally was like, Sebastian, I'm 100% sure that it's broken. So we end up going to, oh, it's the wrong shade. Born This Way, uh, multi-use concealer in Chestnut. We get to urgent care and I told Sebastian, I'm really, really embarrassed. Like why? And I'm like, because I don't want people to see me like this. Like I'm crying, my, I'm hopping, I can't even walk. You know, he didn't. He was like, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're tripping. We get in there and the girl who worked there followed me on Instagram. They gave me a shot on my butt, had to do my x-rays, put my boot on, like it was just a whole mess. And this was all just from sitting in a weird position after that fall. So if the girl from Urgent Care is watching this, thanks girl, I feel a lot better from the medicine. <laughs> Are any guys clumsy as well? Because I can't be the only person in this world that, that is like this. At one point, I remember having to get up at my mom's house at my mom's house to go do something, and I literally was like, I can't hop anymore. Like it was making me dizzy because I was just like all med on medication. I got on my luggage and rolled myself over to the kitchen to grab what I needed, and then rolled myself back. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and set my skin with my Mac Fix Plus powder. This is gonna give me like ultimate coverage. Really set everything in throughout the whole night. Just press it on with any kind of like. Kind of any nice brush will work really good for this. And then we're gonna go ahead and bronze my skin. So I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This one gives you a really nice all over bronze shade. It's matte, which is really nice as well. So I'm taking in like a large brush. And what I like to do is kind of dust it across. You saw how I just added a little bit of powder on my T-zone. Now this is kind of gonna go over everything else I did. And it smells like chocolate too. You guys know you can actually taste it. It's just like chocolate. I don't know if you guys know that. Now you know. All right, I'm gonna go in now with the Laura Mercier powder and bake my skin. So we're gonna be doing this kind of all over to set the makeup and really set, especially underneath of the eyes. Those are usually like the areas that I don't want to crease, I don't want to move, and I do want it to look nice and bright. Right there as well. I'm not even gonna lie, guys, that little shot got me a little buzzed. Should we do another one? Should we finish it? I think we should finish it. Okay, let me do my eyes first and then we'll finish it. All right, so gonna go back, in. oh, <laughs> you guys, goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the palette and create a very nice bronzy smoky eye on my lower lashes. So let's go in with the shade um, Malbec first, which is gonna be that really nice reddish brown. Oh yes, that's like beautiful. And then I'm going to smoke out the lash, there we go. I'm now gonna be going in with this brush right here. It's like a very small tapered blending brush. Blend out that shadow. And same thing on this side. I'm gonna find the perfect liner for this. So these are my favorite brown eyeliners. I love these so much. A lot of them have a lot of bronze in them, which I feel could go bronze, could go black. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, this is really, oh, that would look really nice, but I'm not doing that shade. See whiskey. Can we do whiskey? All right, so for my eyeliner, I'm gonna be going in with this bronze shade. This is Whiskey from Urban Decay. I really love Urban Decay's eyeliners for the waterline. I think they have really great colors. 
and colors that are really just different you can really find like that in between color like they don't just have like your basic like you know black blue purple whatever they have really everything i'm now going to go ahead and grab a little bit of malbec again and tap it over i always do this to kind of set the eyeliner just in case the eyeliner bleeds it will bleed into the shadow versus on your skin wow what a difference that does right Ooh. I'm loving it. All right, gonna take in that one brush again and then just kind of blend out the translucent powder. I really just like to tap in the product first and then blend out and then dust. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and set my skin with my All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. So I'm gonna be doing this before I apply my highlight and my lower lash mascara, and then I'm gonna use the palette to fan myself. Like as much as I love setting spray, I can't stand the drying part. I need like a setting spray fan or blow dryer or something. And then for good luck, we're gonna spray one more time just for good luck. All right, gonna go ahead and now do my lower lash mascara. Just gonna add it, make my lashes nice and full. Did I ever tell you guys the story of my lower lashes in high school? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'll say it again, and if I did, I'll cut it out. Um, I used to actually cut my lower lashes off. Like I used to literally sit there and cut them off. They grew back. Fiddle, why did I do that? I wish that someone would have told me. Next, I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm gonna be using my favorite, the Sigma Cor de Rosa blush. It's like a really nice pinky one. And this one, we're just going to be adding it just straight over what I have already have on. I'm gonna use the same brush too. I'm gonna add it right right there I knew all right so next I'm gonna be going in with the Dior backstage glow face palette and I'm gonna be using a little bit of these two shades first and then from there I'm gonna be topping it off with one of the Becky G ColourPop highlight in the shade cheese so I'm gonna grab that golden shade first and just kind of hit my high points of my face now I'm gonna go in with cheese me and I'm gonna dump just a little bit onto the lid. This stuff will literally last you more than a year because a little goes a long way. I'm now gonna pick up this Real Techniques brush, which is like a small tapered brush, and I'm gonna just go <laughs> over everything for a really blinding, bold highlight. Oh my God, it, see it just adds like that extra glow to the skin. Just gives it to you. A little more setting spray. Ooh. Kind of seals the deal. There are five beautiful shades to choose from from the collection. So the first one is in the color Secreto. It's gonna be kind of like a nudie, peachy kind of fall color. The second one is in the shade Chola, which is a beautiful burgundy brown lip color. After that is Besame, which is a very nice classic red with like a little bit of orange in there. Then you have Mija. I just love the name of this one. My dad calls me Mija all the time. Like your parents will be called you Mija. So to me, that's like such a cute name. But Mija is gonna be like this pretty pinky nude brown shade. Very perfect for like an everyday color. And the last one is in the shade Flood, which is gonna be a burnt orange kind of terracotta shade. I'm kind of feeling Besame or Chola. Chola? I kind of think I wanna do red. I haven't done red in a while. But let's go ahead and put Besame on the lips. And first with my MAC Cherry Lip Pencil to define my lips, we're gonna be using two lip liners today. I'm now gonna take in the Sigma's Precise Lip Line Brush. This is definitely a brush I recommend everybody have because it really helps to smooth out the lip line so you don't have any areas that are missing color or that are balling up. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Chestnut. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Besame. Ooh. I was trying to wink at you guys. Flutter. Okay, so that is the lip put on. Everything is pretty much done. I'm just gonna go in really quickly and add a little bit of a body bronzer. I'm gonna use the Sol Janeiro Coco Cabana Bronze Glow Oil. This is like one of my favorite oils at the moment that I love to use. And I love that it doesn't leave you oily. It just gives you like a nice subtle bronze, but it gives you like a really nice glow, evens everything out for you. And overall just makes you look nice and right. Look at that really just makes you look nice and radiant and bronzy, which is like a must for me. And then same thing on this side. We're just going to add it all over. Well, here's the finished look. I went ahead and just added a few more curls to my hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, be sure to let me know what you think below. Uh, let me know if there's other looks you want to see with the palette as well, just because I feel we could do so much with this, so many bold colors and other looks with it. So yeah, with that being said, guys, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. And before we go, bye.
don't eat just yet. I'm gonna take the rest of the shot because I got like, I have like half of a shot left and I'm scaled. All right, let's do this. Ugh. Ugh. All right, let's go.